Okay, uh, in this problem, the flow rate of the liquid metal into the down sprue of a mold is equal to 1 liter per second. The cross sectional area at the top of the sprue is equal 800 millimeter square, and the length, that means the height of the sprue, is equal 175 millimeter. What area should be used at the base of the sprue to avoid aspiration of the motor metal? In this problem, we have to find this uh, bottom surface area of the sprue okay, to avoid the aspiration of the mold. Okay. First of all, let's understand what is meant by the aspiration in a um, uh, pouring motor metal. Okay, so every sprue having this kind of conical shape. Okay, why it having the conical shape to avoid the aspiration? Let's say if there is no this kind of conical shape, let's take uh, a sprue, whatever a sprue with uh, this kind of cylindrical shape. Okay, let's take. No conical shape, this is straight uh, cylindrical shape. So when what happened when pouring the motor metal to this uh, cylindrical shape? When pouring the motor metal to this uh, cylindrical shape, let's take uh, at the top and the bottom cross sectional area is A. At the bottom also cross sectional area is A. Let's take the starting velocity as the V1. Okay. You all know when the motor metal pouring because of the gravity force acting on the motor metal, so that the force acting on this uh, motor metal it accelerates when it comes to this portion. So that velocity at the bottom should be greater than that means the V2 is greater than V1. Okay because of acceleration of the motor metal uh, due to the gravity force okay so then what is the flow rate at the top that is equal to uh, q is equal a v1 at the bottom the q2 is equal a v2 okay the flow rate should be same Q1 dot and the Q dot, dot should be equal. So what it what does it mean? A V1 should be equal to A V2. But this kind of equation cannot exist because V2 is greater than V1. So this equation is not valid. So then what happened? What happened? the velocity increases we all know so what happened to the flow when the pour in the motor metal instead of uh, following the cylindrical path of the motor metal it flow form in this kind of conical shape it automatically narrow down the cross section and form this kind of conical shape in pouring now the cross section let's take a dash now the cross section let's take the conical shape the bottom a dash now we can write the equation a v1 is equal a dash v2 now this equation is okay thing is uh, when it get narrowed down to this kind of cross section what happen air vacuum form in this area air vacuum form in this area so what happen surrounding air suck to this uh, area okay so then what happened if there is no proper uh, conical shape is given what happened this air mixing into the flowing motor metal so then the air enters to the flow of the motor metal so then there is a more possibility to enter this uh, air into the casting so the cast in defect may fall. So then what happened? Without giving the proper uh, sprue conical shape, the product uh, defect may occur due to the presence of air trapped inside the casting. So that to avoid this, uh, this is called aspiration in uh,
water metal pouring so to avoid this aspiration we have to give the proper dimension for the conical sheet so that what is the condition the flow rate at the top and the bottom should be same okay so then we can go to the solving of this problem in this problem the flow rate is given q dot is equal 1 liter per second so we have to convert into a cubic millimeter per second the q dot t is equal in cubic millimeters that is equal 10 to the power of 6 uh, cubic millimeter per second okay the flow rate is known so here this cross section we are going to find then we can calculate the uh, velocity at the bottom because height is given the v is equal to g h square root velocity at the bottom is equal to g to 175 height so then the square root then we can calculate the velocity of the water metal at the base of the pouring screw that is equal 1852.97 cubic millimeter per second cubic millimeter per second then we know the flow rate and also the velocity at the bottom then we can easily calculate the a2 the q dot is equal v a2 the q dot is equal 10 to the power of 6 is equal velocity 1852.97 then the a2 a2 value is equal 539.67 square millimeter that is equal to 540 square millimeter this is how we are solving this problem